Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Blind Justice. I saw a YouTuber named Dom Place play this. It kind of reminds me of Papers, Please. I didn't watch any gameplay. I just saw the thumbnail and I was kind of like, ooh, this seems like it would be my kind of game. So we're going to check it out right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Day one. Rations are low. You need, okay. You know what? I hate it when these things go too fast, making me feel dumb. All right, somebody's coming up. Hooded figure and everything. That's that guilty walk right there. You already know they're guilty. Hang them. Give them 40 lashes. Innocent execute labor camp statement. Okay, let's hear the statement first. I never thought anyone would notice it was only a bushel here or there when times got tough. Oh, hell no. Okay, so this guy's a good for nothing thief. I don't know. He's definitely not innocent. He just said that it was a bushel here or there. You know what? You're going to the labor camp. We need more people working in the mud. <laughs> Boom! Blind justice! <laughs> That's another guilty walk right there. My guy's already guilty. That's a hundred year sentence right there. How surprising. Another Kulak finds their life threatened for protecting their property and rights. Left to the mercy of a judge. History does repeat itself. Shut up. Execute. I don't even know what this man's talking about. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Bro. No. Right there. Right there in the courtroom, my guy? This dude has the worst job in the world. I cannot control where the fox goes. Please have leniency. What? Is fox code for something? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna say he's innocent. I'm a nice guy. I have a heart. You know, I don't have a very big heart, but I still got a heart. Innocent. Oh, you take off the hood if they're innocent? Man, she needs to die for that. She was mad ugly. You know what I'm saying? She was oogly googly. She at least got like a three year prison sentence for that face. All right, for people that like might be innocent or guilty or executed, they sure do take their sweet ass time. Look at this dude strutting his stuff like he's going out on a Saturday night. He has like a button up too with no hood. Who does this man think he is? All right, what do you have to say, buddy? Only the richest of customers get my special treatment. Oh, I got your special treatment right here, buddy. Sayonara, mother sucker. Boom! <laughs> Dude, he died like five seconds ago and this man's already walking up. I'd be pissing my pants if I was the guy coming up after the dude who just got executed. Those machines will increase our production, I agree, but at the cost of our wages. What does that mean? All right, you're innocent. I'll let you go. You're free to go, my guy. He's strutting that stuff. Look at that booty. Look at that booty go. Execute the next three people. We'll pay what? Bro, I barely saw what that said. Mad Max had a scarf and everything looking like New York Fashion Week. Come back! I didn't even read what that said. It just said, execute the next three people, will pay, blah, blah, blah. Like, it depends how much you're paying me, you know? I'm not a cheap hooker. I'm expensive. You gotta pay me a pretty penny. <gasps> oh. I actually had to read that? Guys, see, this is why I don't like it when the text goes too fast, because... I didn't know that I was supposed to read that. See, I'm not that smart, guys. So the accused is Anya Barden. The accused crime is sabotage. The evidence is that Anya Barden has been manipulating productions quotas at the bullet factory to artificially infiltrate worker wages. Except bribe. Oh. Okay, see, so I messed up. Let me see what this person said. This is a bold-faced lie told by the ministry to cover up that they've lost over 20 shipments of inventory in the last year alone. Either someone in the ministry is stockpiling or they're selling to someone else for profit. Maybe to the rebels. You know what? That bald guy with the scarf told me to execute you. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to pop my gavel. And bam! you are fallen out of favor and been executed. I've been executed? I put on the gavel on myself? No! I'm the judge. How are you going to kill the judge? I make the final decisions. How are you going to kill me? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try this again. I didn't know that I could get executed by my own people. I didn't know that I could get stabbed in the back like that. Well, we're going to make sure we make things right because apparently in the last one, we were doing things super wrong. All right. So before I listen to this person's statement, the accused is Dasha Aline. The accused crime is theft. The evidence is that after a series of robberies, Dasha Eileen's home was found to contain numerous stolen goods. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Let's see what they said. I took them from the wealthy and I was giving them to the workers. Isn't that what the revolution was meant to do? Who are you, Robin Hood? All right, you know what? You're going to the labor camps. You know what? You can work that back. Yeah, strut that stuff. Work those labor camps. Next, Sasha Antonov. 
Accused crime murder? Evidence a house servant named Sasha Antonov was caught placing homemade explosives under their master's bed? Not the master. All right, let me see what you said. The master had asked me to place that package under there. It was a surprise gift to his wife. It was a surprise gift to your wife, you say. I don't believe you, but you know what? I'm going to say that you're innocent. Now get out of here. We're going to see what this guy walking up did. He did theft, okay? And the evidence is that Maxim Laskin is a truck driver who has been siphoning grain for their own family. Oh. Okay, so you're doing bad things to help out your family. Let me see what you said. The compensation my family will receive for my death will be more than I could ever provide for them. Maybe this won't be so bad. All right, you let me know how this gunshot to the face feels. Bah! Did it feel good? You tell me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, the guy with the scar's coming back up. All right, we got to read it really fast. Everybody, pay attention. He said execute the next nine people will pay 130. That's it? 130 to kill nine people? That's basically a little bit over 10 per kill. This dude walking up like he still got blood on his hands. Look, I think this dude did it. I don't know, but I think he did it. Igor Kristoff, that sounds like a killer's name. Accused for theft, though. He's still a killer. Three pre-war paintings have gone missing from the state gallery recently. The guard that night vows that they did not see anyone. They are the prime suspect. The guard is a well-known folk hero for their actions during the war. I don't give a goddamn. All right, let's see what they have to say. Anything but the gulag. In my youth, I was a champion of the people. I have done my part for the motherland. Do your part for this, you filthy asshole. Bye-bye. Okay. I had to execute the next nine people, right? Well, I let one guy go. And the other guy was only going to pay me like 130 for nine killings. I don't know if I could deal with that blood on my hands. This guy has the widest body and the smallest head. I'm just over here roasting these prisoners. He doesn't even have a handcuff on one of his hands. This guy's name is Kirill Belinsky. He's accused for murder. A body was found on the outskirts of the village. Farmers report that Kirill Belinsky was spotted with a large bag heading into the woods that night. What was in the bag, baby? I don't remember much. I was drunk at the bar, but you can ask any of my comrades. I was at the bar, not out in the woods. I don't know, guys. That face, he looks like Hello Neighbor. Like, I can't trust him, but you know what? He seems innocent in my book. We're almost at case 8 out of 10. I don't want my own men shooting me in the face because I don't feel like I'm in the mood for that right now. So we're going to let that guy go. I feel like he was innocent. So the next person that's accused is Evangina Dorosh. Accused crime is theft. Evangina Dorosh was seen filling their pockets with coals by their comrades while working in the mines. I don't care. I accepted the bribe because you yeah, know. And I'm going to say that you're innocent. You're not accepting the bribe. No, I almost hit 10. Oh, come on. Shit on my tits, dude. Day one. Rations are low. You need 46 to meet your requirements. Oh, how was I caught accepting bribes? I thought I was slick with it. Who even saw me? Mind your own business. This man walking in with a bow tie and a tuxedo. How guilty is he? This dude's probably the guiltiest dude this whole game. Vladislav Angelov. Accused of murder, Vladislav murdered a random pedestrian in cold blood last night. Found standing over the body, murder weapon still in hand. Does he still have it in his hand right now? Statement, I didn't do it. Yeah, that's convincing. You know, let him go. I didn't do it. That's what he said. You know what? Pound my gavel. Cock it back. Boom! Right in the face! He's accused of murder. Anton Dobro is accused of murdering their elderly mother-in-law. That's messed up. The mother-in-law, though? Let's see what he has to say about this. She never did approve of me. Guess who got the last laugh this time, Nana? Oh, he called her Nana? Bye-bye, <laughs> buddy. True! Next up, we have Eva Shaban, accused of murder. What's up with all these murderers today? A house servant named Eva Shaban was caught placing homemade explosives under their master's bed. You too? What statement do you have? The master had asked me to place that package under there. It was a surprise gift to his wife. How about a surprise gift to the back of your head? Ah! <laughs> am I evil just for loving to see that? I think I am. So this person is named Nina Antonov. Accused crime is sabotage. The manager for the concrete factory has used the new reforms as a pretext to slash employee wages. Yes, I cut the workers' wages. I have simply done what the ministry asked of me. Perhaps I cut more than I was supposed to, but only in the spirit of bettering the motherland. Motherland, these balls. You're going to a labor camp. I got one more case. This is the furthest that your boy has gone. 
And I made it to day two. Rations are low. You need 178. That's it? That's all that happens? Wait, how come I have an X on one of my kids' faces? Why do you not have a sack on your head? With your ugly ass. Jane Gherkin, she's accused of theft, and the evidence is that several families were discovered to have more rations than allowed in their homes. Upon further investigation, the officer responsible for disturbing rations, Jane Gherkin, had incorrectly recorded the extra rations as lost. Well, it said accidentally, right? Oh, incorrectly. I'm so stupid. What do you have to say? I don't suppose you've ever gone hungry given as you're in such a cushy position. Judging the many people that pass by your podium every day, deciding whether they live or die, it must pay well, no? You know what? Pay this. I hate people that talk too much. Die with your bitch ass. All right, next up, we got Irene Angeloff. She's accused of theft, and she's a known criminal that has been caught stealing from the community storehouse. Oh, you asshole. If you find me guilty, then you should do the same for every minister in the land. I will. Don't worry. In the whole land. Later, buddy. Bow! Wait a minute. Is this person walking up with a sack? How come the first three people couldn't afford sacks, but this person has, like, the biggest, fattest sack on their head? I'm about to rub my ball sack on their face. What is this person accused of? Murder, too. A woman named Sveta Ivanov claims that they killed their neighbor, the town butcher, for plans to abandon his job and flee the country. Is that facts? I have done what is asked of me by the Supreme Commander. I have rooted out a dissenter for the glory of the USSR. You know what? I don't like the sound of that. So you're dead. Bye-bye. And now we have Nikolai Duskin, accused of sabotage, and the head minister of restaurants and canteens has accepted over a million rubles in bribes. I cannot be charged while I hold the position of head minister. Remember that, judge. Remember this. Don't ever back sass me or I'll kill you. I can make you a very rich man, judge. Power, respect, and wealth can all be yours very soon. How much are you bribing? Zero dollars? All the money can be mine soon and you're offering me zero dollars? Is this some kind of sick joke? I'm executing you. You didn't even offer me any money. Green scarf with a purple jacket. That's already a crime in itself. Okasana Duboff, you're an enemy of the state? What does that mean? A prominent politician has been caught with a prostitute, Oksana Duboff. The prostitute is obviously a spy and will be tried as such. Come on, judge. I can show you a good time if you let me go. You won't walk straight for a week. I won't walk straight for a week? What are you gonna give me, crabs? All right, you know what? Labor camps with you. You know what? You can call me later. You know what I'm After the labor camps. You know? I don't want to walk straight for a week. <laughs> Vandom Belinsky, an enemy of the state as well, has been offering citizens a way out of Ukraine in exchange for 5,000 rubles. Hold on, give me some of that. He's offered me 82? Son of a bitch. He said, as soon as I get out as many people as I can, I too will leave. Well, you're never gonna leave because you're dead. Bye! Last person we have to judge is Marta Ferderov. She's accused of sabotage, and Marta has been manipulating production's quotas at the bullet factory to artificially infiltrate workers' wages. The army is going through the ammo too quickly to meet quotas. There isn't enough lead in Europe. All right, you know what? I'm gonna let her go. That's not enough for me to want to judge you. So hurry up and get out of here before I change my mind. Day three, rations are low. You need 171 to meet your family's needs for the day. No. You know what? I think somebody died. Look, my wife died. First my son died, then my wife died. I think I'm done with this game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Blind Justice. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Did you think it was cool? Did you think it was whack? I thought it was all right. I felt like it was kind of too quiet, especially when they walked up super slow down this aisle right here. The best part was the executing. I mean, I don't want to sound evil, but that was the best part. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!